Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Haley and today I'm going to be showing you around our single wide mobile home that we've been living in for about six months now. Um, we purchased this used and this was really like step one for us in simplifying our life and kind of slowing down and changing the way that we've done things. We were previously caught up in what most people are caught up in and that was uh you know making money buying things having nice things big vacations nice house things like that none of those things are bad or am i trying to say they are but we just realized that we were happier when we were slowing down we were spending time with our two boys and we wanted more of that so um earlier this year we sold our house that was about 1800 square feet had a nice shop on a couple acres of land, um, had lots of storage, which we don't have anymore now. So we're utilizing this thousand square foot trailer for all of that. And um, yeah, we just decided that we were going to change the way we were doing things. I quit my job. My husband's still working because I mean, we have to have a paycheck, but we have long term, long term goals of really changing the way we do life. We want to, um, make our life more focused on basic things like growing food and um raising animals yeah that's that's kind of what this channel is going to be about though is us just slowing down spending time with our family learning um things like taking care of animals how to grow our own food that's kind of what you'll find here on this channel so anyways i'm going to take you guys on a walk around of our mobile home and i hope that this encourages somebody who is like me and spends a lot of time thinking that they would like to slow their life down but cannot imagine actually like selling your big nice house and moving into something much smaller um i hope this is encouraging to you to know that you can do it and you're not going to feel cramped and it's not going to drive you crazy and that a small house doesn't mean that you're going to be miserable you can be happy in it too Okay, so this is kind of, if you were to walk through the front door, this is the living room. So you can see that we, I mean, we have plenty of space in here for people to sit. Um, we have the little sectional top thing, the big oversized chair, and then we have tons of shelving in here, which is su super helpful. Um, this particular mobile home that we purchased, it was used, but uh, this was a big a big help for me in deciding that we would go ahead and do it is that it has all of these built-in cabinets in it so the storage the storage was there which was important to me because i didn't want just tons of stuff out all over the place all the time so yeah it's pretty small but you can see that we have a uh, area for our dining room table which was important to me because i wanted to make sure that we had somewhere to sit down as a family and have dinner together so it's small but it's functional and then this is the rest of the kitchen area over here and um, all these cabinets on this side i pretty much use for my kitchen pots pans plates all that good stuff and then these cabinets over here are like a pantry i even have like board games office supplies stuff like that like each cabinet has its own little category this is the laundry room and i'm um, going to the back porch and honestly this is probably the room that bothers me the most because it's kind of the catch-all space for an assortment of things so like i said we no longer have our shop um we don't have attic porch spaces stuff like that so this space has become um a catch-all space for everything so we'll have stuff like my husband's tools in here um of course i have to keep my laundry stuff in here and then a lot of like our outdoor stuff like uh extra light bulbs um some of the kids play toys stuff like that's all up there and then on the back of the door i have this little shoe thingy that i keep our um cleaning most of our cleaning supplies and rags and sometimes I shove some shoes down in the bottom of it if I get tired of shoes being on the floor I'll throw the throw the shoes there on the floor and the pockets on it so moving from the laundry room into what is like our master bedroom and bathroom we got a kitty cat on the bed um so this is a king size bed it fits we have a couple bedside tables in here um the only other piece of furniture we have is our little dresser right here and then in this corner is workout equipment 
Um, we don't really have any other place for it. We used to have a big shop, like I said, and we don't anymore. We didn't want to get rid of all this stuff. So it's in the corner in the bedroom for now. Our master closet is also kind of a dual purpose area. So we have storage stuff up top, some keepsake stuff in the back, but I'll also have to keep like our suitcases, um, vacuum, steam mop, all that stuff in here because there's just really nowhere else to put it in here. So I don't have a big enough utility room to put that stuff in. So the master closet it is. And then let's see. <clears throat> so this is the master bathroom and it is a decent size. Um, it's very brown, but we haven't painted it yet. I don't know that we will, but you know, it's got all the, all your typical bathroom stuff here. So you got a shower, toilet, double sinks. Um, there's no drawers in here, which is kind of, kind of strange. So I had to purchase these little baskets at the bottom that you saw at the bottom of the shelf. And that's where we put like our uh, first aid stuff. I have like some extra shampoos and lotions, things like that, just thrown in those little baskets down there. Since I didn't have drawers, we kind of had to improvise on things like that. And then also for the towels, um, we also have beach towels. And I was trying to figure out where to put all this stuff because I mean, this, this little vanity here is like the only cabinets you have. So we have the basket up here with the towels in it. But yeah, it works. It's a, uh, you know, you just have to kind of adjust your way of thinking sometimes. And we definitely had to get rid of a lot of stuff, but so far it's all fitting in here pretty well under the bed. There's a lot of stuff under the bed, uh, like extra books, things like that, that we don't use on a daily basis, but that I didn't want to get rid of under bed storage is um, a good place to keep some of that stuff that you don't necessarily want to get rid of, but you don't use it all the time and you don't want it out making stuff cluttered. Okay, so now we'll go back through the living room and I'll show you guys uh, my boys' rooms. So um, we've got this hall here, a picture that needs to be hung up still. This little, what are these called? Like a hall tree or something? Um, this is another kind of catch-all place since we don't have a mud room or anything. This is where backpacks, lunch kits, jackets now go. This is my three-year-old's room. So this is a tiny room. Um, it's quite a bit smaller than the room he had at our other house, but it's still pretty functional or really functional actually. Um, he's got everything he needs in here. He's got, this is uh, what we've chosen to use for both boys as far as book storage and things like that goes. So they have their books. They have their little bins down here with Legos and action figures. They each have one of these plastic buckets that are for some of their bigger toys. Uh, we don't have tons of big toys because there's just not the space for it. But uh, the closets are tiny. <laughs> um, but we're making it work. So these are extra clothes. All his clothes fit. Uh, that's like a keepsake box they both have. And then these I purchased at Michael's. And um, this is what we're using as their dresser. So the drawers are pretty shallow, but we don't have tons of clothes. I just have it kind of split up like, you know, tops, bottoms, pajamas, stuff like that. And it's, it's working fine for them. Um, they're both still pretty little three and six. And we just, we don't keep tons of clothes. They have the clothes they need to play in. Um, I mean, they have plenty of clothes. And like I said, this closet is pretty small, but it works. And it's really kind of amazing what you figure out once you just kind of take the leap and get rid of the stuff. You don't, you don't really miss it. <laughs> you know, you don't think about it again. You get rid of it and you figure out a way to make it work with less stuff. So, okay. So this is my six-year-old's room. Um, those are actually some of my Halloween decorations that he has brought in here, but he has, um, similar size bedroom, but he actually has a I think this is a double, it might be a queen. It is a queen, it's a queen size bed. Um, because when I was looking for his bedding, 
I could not find Batman bedding in a queen size. So this is a queen size bed in here and he still has room for his Lego table, his little bucket of toys over here. And he has this uh, cubicle thing as well and a turtle. There's a turtle. So his closet is the exact same size and similar storage thing. Um, basket for the shoes, hanging clothes, and that little thing from Michael's. And even though there's stuff in the closet and like we are utilizing all the, all the space, I don't feel like it feels cramped or overly cluttered. Could it be less cluttered? Sure. <laughs> and some of y'all might watch this and be like, oh, I can never. But honestly, it's not, it hasn't, it hasn't been bad and everything that we have has a space for it if it starts getting to the point where um the toys are too much or the clothes are too much or something like that and i'm really having a hard time finding somewhere to put stuff i mean i just get rid of stuff that's all there is to it i just get rid of stuff until it all fits comfortably and i'm not driving myself crazy trying to cram stuff in places okay so this is the boys bathroom so it is uh, pretty small, but again, I mean, it's got everything that you need. It's got everything that a bathroom should have in it. And you're not really doing too much stuff in the bathroom besides showering, using the bathroom and brushing teeth. So it's, it's good for them. All right, so that's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, like I said, it's right around a thousand square feet, which some people probably don't think is that small, but in the area that I live in, if you start, Talking about a house that's a thousand square feet, people look at you like you're crazy. <laughs> and like they would never live in a house this small. So anyways, I hope that this can serve maybe as a form of encouragement to some of you who are thinking about downsizing, but thinking that there's no possible way that your family could fit in a home like this. I know when we were talking about um, doing this, I searched and searched for videos. I found a few on, on um, YouTube just to see how people were actually managing in a single wide or a house around a thousand square feet and um, with their family and with all the things that they have. So I hope that this is helpful to somebody who might be tossing the idea around of, you know, slowing their life down and um, just living a little more simply.